Hey everyone, welcome back. I hope you are doing great today. In this video, we are going to show you how to set up a wallet and how to incorporate that into your flight sheet. Now, you will notice that I am on the main interface for all of my farms. So if I had multiple farms, they would be shown here on this display. Now, it's worth noting that because you can create wallets in two ways. And if I click on the wallets tab here, it tells us that global wallets are used across all your farms simultaneously. They also can be used in global flight sheets and farms flight sheets. So it's worth noting that because if I were to create one here, this wallet, I am in my global interface. I'm in the global interface here. Versus if I were to select a farm and then I came to wallets, now I am creating a wallet that is specific to this farm. So just go ahead and make that decision right up front. Is this a wallet that you're going to use across all farms or is this one you're going to use in a specific farm? So I'm going to go ahead and create one for all of my farms that I have in the future. So I'm going to select wallets and I'm going to hit create one. Now Hive OS has made this super super easy for us. It starts out with a very simple user interface and the first one is coin. Now here all I'm going to do is select the coin that this address is designated for. So we'll go ahead and select Ethereum and then my wallet address I'm just going to drop in a address for my Coinomi wallet and then for name this can be anything. You can name it my wallet, you can name it Coinomi, you can name it uh, my farms wallet. It just This is a free form field. It can be anything that you want. So I'm going to go ahead and name it there we go. So this is all that I need. Now down here there is a fetch wallet balance feature that is currently in beta. You don't have to select the source and you do not have to hit the fetch wallet balance. So this is the only three pieces of information that we need right here. I hit the create button and that is it. We are done. Our first wallet has been created. All right, I want to give you a quick tip that I'm asked about every now and then. Let's say that you are wanting to mine Ethereum, but you're using your Bitcoin address from the nice hash pool that you might be mining to. Well, if you come up here, instead of selecting a specific coin type, if you just start typing nice hash, there you go, it'll pop up all of the algorithms and you can go ahead and scroll down and select Ethash, but honestly, it, it really doesn't matter. You can use this wallet across really any of these algorithms, any of these coins right here. So I'm going to enter my BTC address, paste that, I'll name it nice hash, and now we have our second wallet created. And again, this is uh, in the global interface here, so I can use these wallets across all of my farms. Now one other way I want to show you you can use this is let's say you are in your flight sheets. Now we are in our global flight sheets right here, and let's say I was creating a flight sheet, and I select Ethereum. Now Hive is smart enough to know that this coin type is associated with a specific wallet. So if I just hit the drop down it is going to go ahead and populate this selection or all of my options anyway with any wallets that are formatted for Ethereum. So I'm going to select my Coinomi wallet and I can select a pool and I am off and running and I have incorporated my wallet. Now one other thing you can do is if you had started creating your flight sheet and you had forgotten to add your wallet they created this little button right here which makes it super simple. I just click on that and it's the same thing as going to the wallets tab. So that is all there is to wallets and Hive OS. I hope this was helpful. If you've got any questions leave it in the comments below. We'll see you in the next video.